In a dark alley, a glimmer of light. These solar paneled street lamps are helping the people of San Luis on the outskirts of Bogota walk home safely for the first time. They're cheap, bright, and easy to make. You're going to need, well, the solar panels, you're going to need the LED, the battery, but the most difficult one was really the controller. How, you know, when the sun goes down, that the light basically turns on. So we made this balance between, you know, uh, these few parts, which the community can build themselves, repair. No more do you have to wait for thousands of parts to be imported, but you can make it all by hand. And this was basically the breakthrough. A circuit board that can be repaired, made with local parts, and at the same time gives jobs to communities. In order to light up San Luis, a hundred students from a nearby university were bused in for the day to help. Each light is composed of just eight parts, costs $70 to build and nothing to operate. San Luis is a perfect recipient for this technology. Many people arrived here fleeing the country's internal conflict and found no basic services. You can imagine the impact that you're having on these people. That's the most satisfying thing, to see the people smiling, to see the lights shining, because they know their quality of life has improved. They know that having light in their alleyways at night is going to improve their security. Safety has long been an issue here with gangs and drug traffickers operating in the neighborhood. Poorly lit areas like this have turned into a magnet for crime, something local residents hope the new lights will change. Before it was so dark, I couldn't see anything. I had to use a flashlight, but it's 100% better with these lights. It was never safe. If you saw movement up ahead, you would choose a different route. Now it looks beautiful. Workers plan to install over 2,000 lights in dark streets across Colombia this year. All told, it's an effort to harness the sun's power to try and brighten the lives of entire communities. Alessandra Pietti, Al Jazeera, San Luis, Colombia.